Today I'm going to give you a few beginner piano tips. Enjoy. So the first thing I want you to do is to curl your fingers, okay? It doesn't have to be like guitar, you know, where your fingers absolutely have to be in a straight line, you know, like that. You can't you can play like that, okay? It's, not, it's just not gonna work, okay? So, slight curvature, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect as long as you don't do this, okay? Then you should be fine. So that's tip number one, curl your fingers, all right? And the second tip I want you to do is I want you to think light, okay? Think and play light. Whenever I teach someone new, the first thing I notice, okay, is they play like this. Okay, <laughs> don't do that, okay? It's not, it's not necessary, okay? So I want you to think and play light. Think and play light. That's how you traverse the piano very quickly, okay? Is if you play light. You don't need to put excessive force on the keys, okay? It's just not necessary. If you think of any great pianist, that's how they play so incredibly fast, okay? They think light. They think light and they play light, all right? They only use the amount of force required to produce the correct sound okay nothing more nothing less and then tip number three if you seek help or any information on how to play your instrument if someone says something that demotivates you okay that doesn't help you then don't listen to that person if I say something that demotivates you then don't listen to me okay your time is not worth to be demotivated when you are seeking help and i can promise you that if someone demotivates you then they probably don't even play okay if you ask someone that actually plays piano um, they would gladly help you i feel because they know the tremendous amount of time it takes to get good at this instrument and then tip number four i want you to listen to as many opinions as possible okay listen to many different opinions on how to do something anything <laughs> okay so there is no absolute correct way to do something okay a thousand ways you can do some anything there's a thousand ways you can skin a cat okay so listen to as many people as possible okay on how to do something then you make your own informed decision. Okay, that's very important. Make your own informed decisions on anything piano related, technique or whatever, and then do what you think is the correct thing to do. Okay, whatever feels the most comfortable. All right, and then tip number five, okay, arguably the most important tip on this list, okay, is I want you to use your ears, okay? <laughs> this may sound weird, but trust me, using your ears is the fastest way to accomplish this instrument, okay? Trust me, use your ears. It's very, very helpful and important, okay? Let, let me give you an example, okay? When you are practicing uh, piano, okay, or you are playing something, it doesn't really matter, alone in your room, okay? You you are alone in your room and you are playing, you are practicing, okay? And someone walks into the room and you stop, okay? And you don't <laughs> we don't know how to play further. We we have like a we freeze, okay? Why does that happen? It's because we don't use our ears, okay? We don't listen to what is happening in the music. We concentrate on our fingers and we try to memorize and that's that's the thing that's why we can't play in front of people most of the time is because we don't listen we don't follow the music with our ears if you want to memorize a piece then listening is absolutely critical okay you memorize the piece with your ears okay in your mind when you're playing sing along with the music and that's how you memorize a piece I feel. And then just another tip, how do you get better? 
It's by doing it. If you want to get better at playing by memory, then the only way to practice that is to play by memory. Okay, that's how you practice it. And the last tip I want to give you is I see people that desperately want to learn how to play the piano, all right? They 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 ask, what is the best way to learn the piano, all right? Good question. The answer is always get a teacher, all right? Get a tutor. Now, the thing I just want to add to that is a teacher or any online help is is good, but don't wait for that help, all right? It doesn't mean you should not practice until you get a teacher. Uh, that's that's not what it means. How you get better at piano is by spending time with your instrument. You just have to spend time. That's what it comes down to. It's going to be tedious, it's going to be hard, but just spending time is how you get better. It doesn't even matter what you do, okay? If you can just play from C to G with your five fingers. All right, that is already spending time with your instrument. That's how you get better. You can do anything. Like, it doesn't matter. It's just spending time. That's how you get better. And that's what a teacher also is going to do. She's going to tell you to go and practice and spend time. All right, Don't, it's not necessary to give out your money just to hear, listen, you have to go and spend time with your instrument. You know that, that's obvious. So why not do it now? And those are my tips for beginner pianists. I hope you enjoyed. Don't give up. It's going to be a wonderful journey. And yeah, it's going to be awesome.